Consider integral. So if this was cosine by itself, you would know that it's sine. But does x plus 5 mess anything up? Okay, so you see cosine. You tell yourself right away, I think it came from a sine. Sine of what? Sine of x plus 5. Can it be that simple? Well, at first you may not be sure. But then you try it. It's the only possible logical thing that could work here. And then you test your guess by differentiation. And it's almost hard to see that this is actually chain rule. Because by the chain rule, this becomes cosine of x plus 5 times the derivative of x plus 5. And the derivative eats up the 5, so it just ends up being cosine of x plus 5, which is exactly what you want. So these shifts, as mathematicians like to call them, are totally innocuous. But sometimes they can throw you off, which is what I'll try to show you next. So I'm going to put plus a constant here. And we're done with this example. Almost appears to be a non-issue. But I'll give you a couple examples where it might become a little bit of an issue. How about this integral? You immediately look at this, and you name what you're looking at with one word, and it's reciprocal in this case. You're allowed to say one over, even though that's two words, but it's really one thing. And so you immediately think log. You're with me on that? And so it's log of x plus 7. And when I say log, I mean natural log of x plus 7. Now you need parentheses. Okay, so that's all there is to it. No absolute values, please. And we're done with this example. Okay, but now let me give you an example where a, a simple innocent shift can throw you a little bit. How about this? You might see one avenue, which is to multiply this out. Maybe you're not thinking it now, but honestly, did this occur to anyone to multiply this out? No? Okay, some, some honest people, right? Because you can see that if I were to multiply this out, I'll have three simple terms, and those three simple terms will be so easy to deal with and I'll be done. And so that's an, and that's an open avenue towards finding the right answer, so you might pursue it. But there is always, or almost always, an opportunity for creativity. So take advantage of that opportunity. This is basically x squared shifted by 9. So as we're learning by the chain rule, it basically tells us that the answer will also be shifted by 9 compared to the integral of x squared. So the answer here will be What I'm saying is if you look at this, I always invite you to look at the expression and see its essence. So the essence here is that it's something squared. And so you should approach the integration of this quantity the same way you would approach the integration of x squared. For example, if this were x squared, what would you do for the integral? You would say one-third x cubed, right? And here you're seeing x minus 9 squared. From a certain point of view, it's totally different. Because if you were to multiply this out, you would get x squared minus 18x plus 81. Very different, right? That's on the one hand. But on the other hand, you can just look at this and say, well, it's still something squared. What is that something? Well, it's x minus 9. Well, then the answer will be not 1 third x cubed, but one-third, that's something cubed, which in this case is x minus 9, so x minus 9 cubed. But then you think back to yesterday, last lecture, and you realize that when we're, we're, we're dealing with this business of something, recognizing that something was the plug-in, you also want to see the derivative of that something in the integral, or else you can't operate by the inverse chain rule. But because it's just x minus 9, because it's just a shift, and not sine of x, and not x cubed, and not 1 over x squared plus 1, none of those things. It's just x minus 9. 
its derivative is still just 1, the derivative of x minus 9. So it's almost no different from being just x. That's what I'm saying. That adding this minus 9 almost doesn't change this at all. It just becomes what the answer would have been if it were just x, except you have x minus 9 in place of x. Does 